Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and I want to talk about some more Dota Auto Chess, Dota Underlords, Team Fight Tactics, Auto Chess, all these different Auto Chess games, putting together a series of tutorial videos. If you haven't already, check out my basics video. If you haven't played Auto Chess, I highly recommend you try that one first. Check out that video. It'll get you started and get you in the basics so you won't be completely lost. Today in this video, we're going to talk about items and passives and loot rounds in auto chess. Very, very important thing to make your characters stronger. So the first topic is loot rounds. This is how you get your items and passives in an auto chess match. The first few rounds are called loot rounds and they enable you to kill AI units or what we call creep in Dota to obtain items. These items are broken out by tiers, tier one, tier two and tier three as you can imagine the tier three items are the best now there's two types of items there is an equipable item that you can put on each character on each hero and there are passive items which are global please note that passive items are in dota on the lores only dota auto chess and probably team fight tactics will have equipable items only be sure to read the tool tips for each item as to what they do because some of them may have negative effects the best example i can think of that catches new people is the mask of madness this item gives you some good properties but it silences your hero so if your hero needs to cast a spell they won't be able to so they'll be crippled but they'll have they'll have the benefits of the mask of madness but they won't be able to cast any spells so you need to look at the tool tips read them carefully and see if they fit the hero that you want to put them on also passives may have a race prerequisite so for example you may get a passive that deals with demon hunter and demon units so if you're if you're not running any demon hunter or demon units then this passive may be useless to you you may also get a passive for inventors or or the mech class if you don't have any mech class don't get that passive it's a very simple concept but it's something that's very important when you're choosing items during your loot rounds so this is something that comes with time it's not something you're going to learn very quickly as you get more familiar with the different types of units what their abilities are whether they're assassins whether they're mages whether they're melee units you you can marry different things different items to these units you may not want to put a bash item or a stun bash item on a range unit for example you may want to put that on somebody on the front line so they can do a lot of damage play around with items and passives this is something that's very fluid it and you can get very creative with but you can also make some really big mistakes if you're not careful so pay attention to the loot rounds because every fifth round is a loot round and you can you can look forward to loot to put on your characters. The UI in Dota Underlords gives you a great indicator on whether your loot is not equipped. Once you get an item from a loot round, it just puts it in your inventory. You have to equip items on each hero unless it is a passive item. So if you see the right side flashing with a number next to it, where your loot is, that means that that loot is not equipped or not on the board and you need to make change. You need to actually equip that item by dragging and dropping it from your inventory over to the character on the board. Different auto chess games have different mechanics. For example, example, Dodo Auto Chess allows you to drag and, or move the, move the item into the inventory of each hero because you can have more than one item in that case. But in Dodo Underlord, you're, you're limited to one item per character. A little bit, little bit different changes, but the item and passives overall works the same. Again, I haven't seen Team Fight Tactics yet. We haven't seen how they're going to do items and passives, but I imagine it's going to be something very similar. This is Buona from Buona.tv. Items and passives and loot rounds in Dodo Auto Chess. Dota under <laughs> Dota Underlords and T Vitex. I, I keep going through all the titles, but there's so many cropping up. And they're gonna have similarities and some differences, but I'm trying to keep this video as general as possible to let you know that items and passives during the loot rounds that you get are very important and you need to make sure that they match the characters that you put them on. Take care everybody. Have a great day.